can see we have a hexagon here. And if we want to find out if this has rotational symmetry, meaning that you know, if we turn this object, will it match up with itself? One uh, nice technique is, is to look at the lines of symmetry. So what a line of symmetry is, it's a line, okay, of course, that when you fold it over that line, the figure maps to itself. So this has one line of symmetry like this, but you could also draw a line of symmetry like this. Okay, we could fold it this way. You could draw a line of symmetry like this. You could fold it this way. And you can also go through the vertices like so. So that would be four, five, and six. So there's six lines of symmetry. If we take 360 degrees divided by the six lines of symmetry, you can see we're getting 60 degrees. So what that means is that if we rotate about this point, 60 degrees, it's just like a knob. This object will match up with itself. So we can say this has 60 degree rotational symmetry. Okay, example number two. When we look at this figure here, there aren't any lines of symmetry. Like if I draw this like this, let's say on this angle like here, if I fold it over, it doesn't actually match with this figure here. It's, it's you know, it, it's, it doesn't match up perfectly. I guess I, it's the only way I can say it. When you fold it, this is gonna be pointing in a slightly different direction. And so this one, it's maybe not, we can't really solve it the way we did this one, but you can still see that if you were to take this object and turn it a quarter turn, 90 degrees, that this you know, flag or triangle is gonna then match up with this one, this one's gonna match up with this one, and so on. And so by doing it 90 degree turn or rotation, this will match to itself. So this does have rotational symmetry, 90 degrees. Okay, third example, here I, I've drawn a triangle for us, an isosceles triangle, and you can see that there's a line of symmetry that goes right down the middle like so meaning if we fold it over this line, it's gonna to match to itself. Well, if we go back to example number one where we took 360 degrees and we divided it by the number of lines of symmetry, you can see we're just getting 360 degrees. Well, 360 degrees, if you take any object and you turn it all the way around, okay, a full turn, naturally it will match with itself, okay, because you've done a complete revolution, it's in the same position it was in originally, so we don't consider this having any rotational symmetry. 360 doesn't count. It's gonna be anything between zero and 180, okay? It won't exceed that. Um, so 360 degrees doesn't count. So I hope this helped you to understand how to work with uh, rotational symmetry and how to find that angle of rotational symmetry. Subscribe to the channel. Check out some of my other math videos on Mara's Math Tutoring YouTube channel, and I look forward to seeing you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.